Now, how would you cope with caring for hundreds of abandoned animals? It's something staff at an African primate reserve are dedicating their lives to with the financial and physical help of those from a West Country zoo. In the second part of his special series, Primates in Peril, Richard Payne witnesses a day in the life of a sanctuary in Cameroon which cares for the monkeys, chimps, gorillas and baboons left orphaned by hunters. From the West Country to West Africa, I've come to find out what's being done to save some of the world's most threatened creatures, the primates in peril. <coughs> the day starts early here, very early. Before cock crow, some workers have walked miles to reach the remote Mefu primate sanctuary and have a long, hard day ahead. That, though, is of little concern to the apes who live here, who don't much like being kept waiting for their breakfast, so delivering it is the first task. Well, in the Cameroonian rainforest, they still have rush hour, but not the sort of rush hour that we're used to. This rush hour includes all these wheelbarrows, some of the 28 workers who are on site, come down every morning. One of the first jobs is to fill these wheelbarrows with food for the primates for breakfast. And as you can see, today's menu is bananas. Huge container there, full of hundreds, thousands of bananas. And I'm told they're locally donated. That saves the charity thousands of pounds every single month. A lot of work to be done, so I'll get out of the way and let the guys get on with it. Without the support of charities like Bristol Zoo, this place just wouldn't be able to care for some of the most fragile animals on our planet. More than 300 primates are nursed back to health, having escaped the clutches of the hunters who trade in their meat. Another vital ingredient to the success of this reserve are the volunteers who pay to stay in basic surroundings for months on end to perform some of the most menial tasks from sweeping out the chimp's bedroom to sorting the sugar cane from the cabbages. This woman swapped the corporate jungle of New York for the real jungle and has never looked back. Well, I fell in love with gorillas and then baby monkeys and helping. I uh, realize I'm even doing the food store, I'm helping. Seven days a week we work. Yep, and, um, and if you're, depending on what you're doing, you could be working all through the night as well. Visitor numbers here have reached around 1,000 a month in the dry season, small when compared to the 2,000 Bristol Zoo can see every day in the summer, but they do help boost all important finances. Allez! But while some watch, others work, and it was my turn to get my hands dirty as the next meal arrives, this time for inquisitive Western Lowland gorillas. Well, it's clear all the staff here have a very special relationship with all the primates that they look after. Take the example of this man here, Apollinaire. He looks after all these animals, and we're very lucky that we're able to feed them, because usually it's only this man they know. They know these guys inside out. Form a lifelong bond with these animals requires the most remarkable dedication. This man has spent years building confidence with chimps that allows him to get into an inner circle few enjoy. It is a matter of uh, giving them 24-hour care because they are still babies. They are too complicated. 
And so we really need to treat them equally as our parents treated us when we were babies. The next door is my door. I spend my time 24 hours there. And always, the keeper is always there to see what is happening. You have to give up your life for these animals? Actually, once you are here, you must be committed because if you are not committed, you can't walk. You can't be walking here while your mind is elsewhere. You have to be concentrated. And so, if you accept to walk, therefore you are devoted. You don't mind? You're, you love these animals? Very, very much. Humans sometimes do make me annoyed, but animals, they can't make me annoyed. There is downtime where animals and keepers take a few moments when the heat and humidity become too much and a chance to enjoy these beautiful surroundings is impossible to resist. In the wild, the threat of the hunter means these animals wouldn't enjoy the safety this enclosure is able to offer. Yeah. Here, there's even a final milk delivery before lights out. And without a pillow, what better than your best mate to lean on for a good night's sleep? Absolutely beautiful pictures there and if you missed Richard's first report from Cameroon yesterday then you can see it online. Tomorrow he joins school children from the rainforest who are being taught about conservation with the help of Bristol Zoo. Experts say some primate species in the area will only survive if the hunting habits of the next generation change. That's to come on tomorrow night's The West Country Tonight. Really look forward to that. Thank you, by the way, to Sarah Hill, who's uh, tweeted me saying, love the primates, wonderful animals. They are so animated, absolutely beautiful pictures.